Today we have the case of one Miss Olaju Moke, also known as Moke or Moke Scrib, who has been charged with the crime of suddenly disappearing from YouTube for four months, thereby causing over seven billion innocent humans to suffer content deprivation. Miss Olaju Moke, how do you plead? Not guilty. I have my reasons. Hi there. It's been a while. I, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. So welcome to Moke's Crib and welcome back because it has been a long time. I'm happy to see you again and I hope you are as happy as I am to see me too. If you are new here, please do to hit the subscribe button ASAP. I've been away for what? Well, it felt like I was away for like one year, but in reality, I was away for three months, thereabouts. I'm not sure, but three months. Well, it's not like someone that would just decide to just be out like that. You know that. In this life, a lot of things happen, and as things happen, you have to relax back and be like, ah, this angle that this thing is going by, she, I can be able to be following it up. She understand? <laughs> okay, jokes apart. There's a point in one's life where you just feel like, man, I need to rest. Me safe, I don't try. And yeah, I was at that point. I just, I just had to like sit and rethink and we plan, we strategize because I felt like I was doing so much. I was doing so much. It's not a bad thing. It wasn't a bad thing, but it was telling on me. It was telling on my mental health. It was telling on my finances. It was telling on my marital. Wait a minute. <laughs> it was telling on my, on my everything basically. So I just felt like I need to take a break and just see what I've been doing so far and it really helps because I'm glowing. In the whole process of trying to like relax, calm down, replan, strategize, a lot happened. First things first, I'm grateful to the people that actually cared. When I was in posting here, I got plenty messages. Some people even called me. Like, bro, y'all are calling me. <laughs> People called me and I'm not going to say that I started to enjoy the whole um, attention. Let me put it that way. But then it felt good. I am just very grateful to y'all that reached out to me. Well, I also want to mention that there were some set of persons to that reached out to me negatively. People are wicked. Ah, and you have to show them that you are wickeder than them. Like, I don't know. Is it that like people just wake up and be like, I want to see this person's downfall? I don't get it. People message me and were asking me useless questions, saying stupid stuff like, oh, so you're giving up finally. She has seen that YouTube is not for the week. He has seen that content creation is not for the week. Well, I just have to put it out there too because so that you know that there were the good parts which I really appreciate and the part, bad parts too. I can't leave them out. And for real, I want to thank those people because somehow they motivated me too, honestly. They don't know that waiting for me to give up. It's like waiting for water to go out of season. You always see water. You will always see me. Tiwa Savage had a point when she said in her song, Agbotota Disenyo, oh oh, yeah, Bio Bagba, Agbara Lolo oh oh oh, yeah, I'm coming to cause trouble. The meaning of that part is, um, eh, what is Agbo? Hey, okay, Ram. When you ram and maybe have a goat or something, you're fighting. When the goat, when the ram, like, draws back and he just comes back with full force to come and fire the attacker yeah that's the meaning of the song literally so yeah you get the points one thing i was scared of while i was away was actually 
losing my subscribers. I didn't just sit down, I was doing nothing. I was working, I was still working, but it was more of the work that would bring money to like continue the journey. I was working, but then one, in one part of my heart, I was scared. Like, what if these people just decide to? What if I open my YouTube body and I see zero subscribers? Well, I can't hold anybody. It's not by force. It's not do or die. I was so scared that for two months plus, I literally did not open my YouTube. I did not open my YouTube to check anything. I was not watching anybody's video. I was not watching my videos. I was not checking my analytics, nothing. I just let it because I was scared. What if I go and even one subscriber, one person had all subscribed, I knew how much I was going to get to me. I was very scared. Along the line, I lost my phone, I lost my system. So when I finally got a phone, it was one of the first things I did. I actually ran to check my subscribers and good. Instead of me to be losing subscribers, I was even still gaining subscribers. Over the past three months I didn't post, I gained more than 200 subscribers. I was not posting anything. It gave me a kind of strength, like, okay, people actually fuck with my shit. Um, I just have to like be strategized. And yeah, a lot is on the way. Trust me. I just came to do this video so I'll show my face because I know y'all have missed me. <laughs> So I shake my face and just like give you a little bit of the backstory and tell you all that I am fine and I appreciate the checkups and I appreciate everything. It's just right now I'm in this phase of um, I'm in this no pressure phase. I feel like I put too much pressure on myself lately. It took me like taking a break to actually realize how much this whole thing was eating into me. I would literally no rest. I was doing everything. I had a nine to five. I was doing this nine to five and I was doing YouTube and I was doing modeling and I was doing my business because I have an online store I'm running. I was doing all of this jamma 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 waiting happen. So I had to calm down and just be like, fam, you have to look for a balance for all of this. I love everything I'm doing, except the 9 to 5, of course. I, I've stopped that one already. But I just had to like give myself sense. I just want to take one step at a time. I'm very young. I'm still very young. I know young people, like a lot of young people are kicking ass out there. And I'm kicking ass too. Hello. <laughs> All I'm just trying to say is I don't want to succeed at the expense of my own life. It's not like I'll blow, then I'll die, then people now hear my story and say, ah, that girl, the stress that killed her, she was, she really worked very hard, then she died. Nah, I want to chop my life, chop my money, as I did the work. I was doing the work, I was not chopping life, I was not chopping money. Even the Bible says that you should, um, hi, how did the Bible say it? Say? The Bible should have said it in one part that, um, when you are young, you should enjoy your life. So yeah, very soon I'm going to be introducing a new series I'm starting on the channel. I'm very excited about that and I can't wait for y'all to see it. I am so excited. It is one thing I was working on during my break and I feel like you're going to love it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's just everything. And along the line, my tie just put it out there that I got married. <laughs> that too, I'm going to going to gist you. See, gist is plenty. <laughs> gist is plenty. Just stick to this channel. Turn your post notification on and wait for me. Don't worry. I've come back. Mommy is back. Not to leave again. I'm sorry I kept y'all waiting for this long. And thank you so much for waiting for me. I love you so much before you go don't forget to subscribe please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for subscribing and see you in my next video bye so you see my lord i have my reasons have you heard the side of the story 
and thoroughly examine the case. By the power vested on me as Chief Judge of the Federation, I hereby declare you free of all charges. Court 